Hey everyone, Fierce Technology here. What I have here is the BlackBerry Torch 9860 and the BlackBerry Curve 9380. So um, a lot of numbers now with these new devices, but uh, these are the two brand new devices uh, from RIM for touchscreen models. So um, we're gonna go over some of the physical aspects of each of the phones first. Um, so you can notice we, uh, right off the bat, see that the Torch is quite a bit bigger. So um, it's longer. I'll put them on top of each other and the torch is slightly wider and we'll go to the side right here so you can see the torch is definitely longer as well both have the uh, USB jacks on the side there and then we'll go to this side and they both have the volume jacks on the side 3.5 millimeter headphone jack on the torch there and it's on the top on the curve um, we'll go to the back um, and we've got the uh, cameras right there so they're both 5 megapixel camera um, the torch does use 720p HD video whereas the curve is just the standard VGA video um, one thing you'll notice on the front of each phone I'll go back to the right side here is on the bottom of the curve it uses buttons on the bottom of the uh, or sorry on the bottom of the torch it uses buttons on the bottom of the curve it's got integrated buttons so they're a little bit harder to press personally I prefer the actual buttons the actual buttons are a little bit easier to press um, but that's perfectly fine it's a little bit getting used to um, the uh, processors inside the torch uses a 1.2 gigahertz processor this is the newest processor from uh, rim and um, the uh, Curve uses a 800 megahertz processor, so um, it's noticeably a little bit slower, not as snappy as the Torch is, but that's perfectly fine. Um, so uh, both these devices are kind of aimed um, towards um, different aspects. The Torch is more of like the, the upper end device, whereas the Curve is more of your like starter um, Blackberry. So um, I'm gonna go into a little bit of the other um, um, aspects of each device. Um, we've used, uh, we have 512 megabytes of built-in storage and uh, 512 megabytes of RAM and on the Torch we've got uh, 2.5 gigabytes of internal storage as well as 768 megabytes of RAM and uh, they both use uh, memory card slots so it's expandable memory so if the memory is not enough for you then it's definitely um, just pick up a memory card throw it in there and you're perfectly fine. Um, so um, I just kind of want to talk a little bit about these devices. They're very similar devices. Um, they both optimize BBM and all that, of course, as well. Um, but um, they also do run on the BlackBerry OS 7. So it, it's kind of you have to decide which one you want to spend the money on. I'm not going to go into a great amount of detail. I'm just sort of giving you the uh, physical aspects of the differences on them. Uh, but uh, if you want your sort of powerhouse device, you're going to go obviously with the Torch. If you want the uh, um, sort of base model touchscreen BlackBerry, uh, if a starter BlackBerry is what I would say it would be called, I would go with the Torch or with the Curves. So you kind of have to decide which way you want to go on to. Um, but um, I'll, I'll bring up the keyboard just to give you guys um, a little bit of a um, demonstration on the keyboards on them as well. Um, they both use the touchscreen um, type keyboards. Um, so there we go, I've got whatever, just leave it up like that. So um, you can see that their spacing on the curve is slightly more. So um, personally I'm going to have to say, I, I, I do find that the screen seems uh, seems a little bit wider, It's although it's not uh, on the curve, um, but uh, it seems like the spacing is a little bit easier for the keyboard. Um, you can flip them around as well and they will go to the larger type keyboard on the side which does make it easier to type definitely as well. We'll go into battery life now. Um, battery life claims from the manufacturer we get about five and a half hours um, of talk time uh, on the uh, BlackBerry Curve and they say up to 30 hours of uh, music playback. Um, these are obviously recommended. Um, they're not the uh, true um, actual value that you're actually going to get because it does vary. Um, the torch uses uh, about four and a half hours of talk time and it gets about uh, 44 hours of music playback. Um, standby time for each of them, we've got 360 hours of standby time on the curve and we've got 330 hours of standby time 
on the uh, torch. Um, they both use the uh, JM1 battery. So I'll show you the battery just on the back of the torch. They both use the same JM1 battery, which kind of seems to be about the standard for uh, BlackBerry batteries now as the uh, Bolds 9900 uses the uh, JM1 as well. So. Um, so there you have it. Um, like I said, I'm not going to go into the greatest of detail um, because these two devices do use the exact same operating system. Um, the main differences is just the processors on them, the camera slightly different. A um, few other little differences on them, but uh, there's definitely a huge price difference though. You'll notice the uh, torch usually will retail around $600, uh, whereas the curve will retail for you around $350. So it's almost double the price for the uh, uh, torch compared to the curve, but uh, obviously like I said we got the powerhouse torch and we've got the uh, base model curve here So um, anyways, that's uh, that's about it. I'm just not gonna go um, Any more into it, um, but I'd love to hear your guys's questions and comments So um, please leave them down below. Let me know what you guys think of each of these devices um, And uh, we'll go from there. Um, I'll do my best to answer any questions that I can and uh, if you haven't already subscribed subscribe to me um, Don't forget about my giveaways um, check out my uh, channel page And there's a couple of giveaways that I'm going to be having this month and next month So definitely check it out and I will see you guys on my next review. Thanks a lot guys. Bye -bye.